Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So we created the index or the listing of our products and we can see that it is up and running using Bootstrap and the pagination works. So we can go uh, from uh, one page to another and we don't have 100 products on each page. So we can also determine how many we want. If we don't want to have five, if we want to have three, we just change the number in the paginate method there, and then it's going to uh, paginating according to uh, to what we instructed it to. So that is nice, but we have one issue here, and for some reason we have these huge errors that will allow us to also use the paginate, but they're really, really, yeah, they're not so nice regarding UI. And uh, the way we fix this is we can go into um, app, the app directory, then we can find the uh, providers directory. And then we, if we go to the app service provider, if we go into the function boot, we need to tell the, the paginator to use bootstrap. Okay, and I think we also need to import this one up here. So we're just going to go to use illuminate and it's in pagination, paginator. Right, so now we have imported the class, so we instructed to use bootstrap. So inside app service provider in providers in app. So let's see what happens when we refresh it. Now it's going to change it and we don't have these huge errors there anymore. And it changed the UI a little bit. Right, so now this is corrected. Let's close this one again here. And let's just put it back to five, it seems okay. Okay, but if we want to show a particular product, nothing happens, we can see in the URL. We have product slash seven, and that's because it is the product with ID number seven from the database. We can also see there with ID seven. Okay, so uh, let's just collapse this one over here, and we need to go to the show because we can see the show route display the specified resource. So this is a particular product that we clicked on. So what do we need to do first there? Yeah. First we need to create a new view because we don't have a view for this. So we can see in the views, products, we need to create a new file called show.blade.php. And as we did with the other, we're going to extend the layout, we're going to um, make a section, content, and we're going to end the section. Oop, we don't need that. So now we get the same basic structure as we have in all the other ones. So if let's just, uh, because right now we have this kind of dual title there, so I'm just going to Go into my layout and remove this uh, H1 here. This is going to change it in all the views now. So now we just have the layout CRUD example here. Right, so that is nice. And we can see now we have it working. We don't have this title uh, on each and every page there, okay? So let's go back to our show blade because we need to provide the code for how we display a specific product and code is right here and we can see that um, again we have a bootstrap row and we have a couple of div classes and then we have the same back button that we had before that will uh, take us to the index route using blade syntax and then we basically show the information for this particular product, the name and the detail. So we need to inject the product into this view from the controller, kind of like the same as we did in the index where we had the product injected from the controller. 
And it's actually pretty simple to do this, uh, the show, because we just return a view as we've been doing uh, in all the other uh, routes we've been doing. And we are going to return the product. And we can see if we do control space, then we get a listing of the blade files we have in the products directory. And if we take the show, that is nice. And now we just need to actually inject the product that we are passed along in the function header. So we get the product that was clicked on on the front end, and then we can use this to inject this into our draw view. Yep, that's what we're doing here. We're using the compact method. And let's just see here. Oh, yeah, I just need to have the quotes around this one here. Otherwise, Laravel gets confused here. So we inject the variable product that we uh, have in this function here. So if we update the application now and click on product2, we can see we have product2 details and we can also modify it in the URL so we have one and then we have the back button of course the UI could be improved but this is another series maybe so we can basically take any any products that we want if we are take take one of them that we don't have a product that doesn't exist in the database we're taken to a 404 not found page so that makes sense uh, so that is actually the the show route or the listing of a specific product that seems to work here okay so that is just a view the show view that is pretty simple we inject the product from the product controller and we uh, get the data in the view the name and the detail and that's basically it so that's it for this video and uh, in the next video we will do the edit and uh, continue on the application. Hope you make this work and have fun. Bye bye.